Park the combine on level ground and set tire pressure evenly and correctly. Lower the header until the cutter bar is 6 to 10 inches above a level surface. If the combine is equipped with a lateral tilt feeder house faceplate, then make sure that the faceplate is centered and level. If the header is equipped with gauge wheels or a transport package, then raise the wheels to their highest locked position so that they do not contact the ground during adjustment. Adjust the hydraulic header angle tilt halfway between B and C. Completely lower and position the reel fore aft at position 5 on the right hand reel arm. Shut off the combine and place the wing lock spring handles into the locked position. Make sure that the wing lock engages into the locking notch beneath the poly cover by rocking the header from side to side or by raising and lowering the combine feeder hose. Make sure that the float locks are disengaged on both sides of the header. Remove the header float adjustment wrench from its storage location. Position the wrench on the float adjustment nut located just below the bell cranks at the base of the adapter. Apply smooth steady pressure to the float adjustment wrench until the bell crank lifts off the combine adapter. Continue pushing until the indicator on the torque wrench handle reaches a maximum reading and begins to decrease. Note the maximum reading. The proper wrench reading will vary depending on your circumstances. Compare your wrench reading with the table located on the laminated quick card or in your combine's operator's manual. Please keep in mind, these recommended settings are only a good starting point. The optimal float settings for your header might vary depending upon harvest conditions and your header configuration. If the wrench reading is too high, then apply more tension to the float springs by loosening the lock nuts and by turning clockwise on both bolts evenly. If the wrench reading is too low, then reduce tension on the float springs by loosening the lock nuts and by turning counterclockwise on both bolts evenly. Now repeat this procedure for the left-hand side of the header and the left-hand float springs. When finished, return to the right-hand side of the header to recheck the float reading in case it changed with adjustments to the left-hand side. For 40 and or 45-foot double knife headers, adjust float as described and then loosen the right side float springs by two turns counterclockwise. If you add kits or change the weight of your header, then you will need to repeat the float adjustment procedure. Your header is now set to factory recommended float settings. These settings are simply a good starting point. If your header seems to require additional adjustment, then please consult your operator's manual, contact your nearest MacDon dealer, or contact MacDon product support for further assistance. Header float setup is now complete. Proceed to the next video setting header leveling.